welcome back to my channel how is everybody so this week's review item is i am doing one of these christmas trees that i got from fans you can get them from other places like aliexpress and everything else i got this one from fan sales because i was doing like a big haul and i thought i could do it all at once um there must be double side tape or something in there so yeah um so i'll show you exactly what we get in the package but this is what we'll be doing this week i know it's a little bit late in the year for all the guys who've seen this video i think oh i want to get one of them i'm pretty sure Ali, um, amazon will sell them but for a little bit more so i do apologize about that but yeah really really am looking forward to doing this it's like different i've been seeing people do them all the time and i honestly um did not think they were going to be this big i honestly thought they were going to be about this big maybe never did think they were going to be this big they are really big so yeah i am i am really looking forward to doing this something different and we've got a cute christmas decoration at the end of it as well which i love you know and this can be packed away with all my christmas bits and i can bring it out every year so yeah i am really looking forward to doing this so let's get cracking i'll show you what we get inside and then yeah we will get cracking on with this because i am really looking forward to doing this as you as you most really can tell so yeah let's get cracking right so in this so it all comes in a nice in a bag like so i did accidentally order two but i gave one to my mum it was a slightly different one that i ordered so get the actual tree the hangy bit um stand drills and a random bit of tape i reckon this is to help it stand in the actual base maybe it's a bit loose so they put that in there just to help it stand up so i'll put that back in the bag to be on the safe side move all this to one side and i'll just go through it all and i think i've just messed up my i just want to make sure that i'm actually in right so we get usual stall stall tool kit with them all so i don't need to really go through that too much we've got our yeah, I want to go for the drills quickly. Oh, there's some very pretty drills in this, I tell you. And just looking at the numbers, all the bags should be labelled correctly. Because they usually are with fan cells. So, I love that. Like the actual clear diamond ones. Why are ABs? Two lots of dark green rhinestones, yellow, red, light blue, pink, nice like, oval shapes, teardrop shapes, some golden balls, some white balls, really nice large green ones as well. And then as you can see, they've all got it might be best you can see that the right way around. All got the correct numbers and everything on the bags, so we haven't got to try and figure it out. Because sometimes we get kits that are labelled up wrong with no like sheet or anything. Then we got a string to hang up our little bauble part, and then the actual decoration itself. So that's your base covered in number three so i assume that'll be green mainly at the bottom really thick that's a good oh no, it must be a good half a centimeter thick yeah nearly half a centimeter thick that is i think it's about point by four millimeters thick so that is really really thick and then we have our bubble bit these are one-sided the whole thing 
and then we have our Christmas tree. Very nicely printed and everything. I've been eyeing these up for a while and I was like, just get one when I was doing my fan sales order. Right, I'm gonna put this somewhere safe. I'm gonna put it back in the bag. I think I'm gonna leave that out and just do go through the numbers as I do them. Start from number one and work my way up. Because number one literally goes around the edges on everything. So yes, I think that's what I'll do. I'll go all the way around for number one, number two, number three. I think I'll just do it that way. These ones I absolutely and utterly love. They're so pretty. So I've seen quite a few people do these on Facebook and I was like, oh, I really like them. And I've been I'm in an hour and I'm in an hour and I was like when I was doing my last fan sales order, I was like, just get one. <coughs> just order one, Gemma. My husband gave me um some money for my birthday. He said, right, get what you want. That way you can get what you want and it's easy for him because he never knows what to get me for my birthday. Ain't they pretty? They are so, so pretty. So. And then like this bit, he's got two little owls on. Print's a little bit blurry, but to be honest, at a distance, you can easily see what it is anyway. But yeah, really, really pretty. So yeah, I think this time I'm going to do it by a bit. I don't know, because obviously it's going to be uncovering a whole big ton of this Christmas tree. I might just do half and half. And I can flip round, work upside down. Do I just realise we only need one of these H's? And we get six in here. Pretty sure we only need one. Yeah, we need one. And they've given us six. So we've got plenty of spares. They've sent us loads and loads of them. So yeah, I am really looking forward to doing this. This is going to be a, a good couple of days worth of work here. But. And obviously like every year I can get this out and put it away and everything else. So it's a Christmas decoration I get to keep and everything.
So I'm on my last little bit now. You do get plenty of diamonds in this one, I tell you. Because, like, number three, I'm finished with. Look all them spares. There's loads there. And then, like, number two, them really, uh, number one, those really pretty ones. They're just loads of them. So, you do get plenty of spares with these. So, you haven't got to worry about running out, honestly. That's something I would like bad. Bright light. Okay. So I want number five at the moment. I don't have anyone else, but I do kind of wish when they print these, they'd only print them. For example, like above. So then, because I always find like you put on all your drills and then you move and then they all look out of place because obviously when they put them underneath the plastic, they always look like they're out of place to me. And it drives the amount of times I've moved them around trying to sort them out and everything. It's been crazy. No, oh, all them, it's just to tell all them vibes and I need a nearby one. I do need a couple of fours there as well. Yeah, number five. Oh, I need a five there. And a five there. One five and two five. I think that's it. I always end up missing something. I'm the worst for that. Let's get those couple of fours that I've missed. For their feet. I am still in a view. But I've slightly um, tilted my light pad up to see if that makes it any easier. I'd say it does. It, it makes it easier on the old neck and everything. So, yeah, I might, I don't want an easel thing though, um, I want to keep on this, I might just use a couple of house bricks or something and prop it up, at the moment I'm just using a tube of glue, <coughs> and it's, it's doing the trick, I tell you, it really is. So yeah, still on my week off of recording this. Tonight is the, like, my first live and I am very nervous. Very, very nervous. Obviously, you guys won't see this until after the live. But yeah, I am a wee bit nervous about it. But I am looking forward to it. I just hope there's not just, just me in it. That would be um, slightly embarrassing. <laughs> Um, what else have I been doing this week? Yesterday I've sorted out my room, my my spare room. Um, got that sorted out, got it tidied, been a load of stuff. Um, yeah, really did like get a load of stuff sorted and everything in there. I said to my husband, I said, right, we need to get some like big shelves or something like um those big old metal shelves or something you like putting garages and everything thought they would be like a good idea or like next time we go in um home bargains or b m or something look to see if they've got those big old strong plastic shelves you know because we just find that obviously where we've got stuff we can't bin I've got nowhere to put it really. So it would be like handy to have to store something like that. So yeah, we sorted out the spare room yesterday. Poor husband like hurt himself three times. 
in the process. Trapped his finger once. Um, stabbed his finger with a pin. What else? And then he decided to whack himself in the face with a baby game. So, yeah, he wasn't having much fun yesterday, bless him. So, uh, proper did conk though, I tell you, it proper whacked him. He's staring at me. What? Don't you shake your head at me? Are you pretend to ignore me now? You're a bit rude. Oh, he's being rude now. Um, the, I mean, it proper caught, it was bleeding and everything. That's how hard it's, it's like, it's still swollen and everything. He like basically hit his eyebrow. But yeah, it proper did go conk. And I was like, oh, oh ow. Without trying to laugh, because I have a habit of laughing when, when he hurts himself. I'm a horrible wife. Let's have some sympathy in the comments. <laughs> Don't give him sympathy, guys. Come on. Just laugh. Laugh. Sympathy in the comments. Blood <laughs> everywhere. Was, there was a tiny bit of blood. Tiny. Tiny. Well, I could see with red from your eye. <laughs> He's a typical bloke. Excuse me? <sighs> Not way I think I do, love it. Sympathy in the comments, come on. <laughs> Just ignore him. Wow. But yeah, I did feel bad for him at the time though. So yeah, I've just been sorting out that spare room. Well, it's all sorted out now. They, um, it does look a whole ton better. Switched it round and everything. So yeah, I am really pleased with how it's looking though. It's looking a whole lot tidier. I switched around my the position where I wanted my background and everything. So yeah, you will see that at the end of this video. So obviously, I got the light fixed. Yep, I got the light fixed. Um, because I we. Um, I went and said to me dad I said can you come because I it, start, it was like broken a really stupid place where you put the bulb in and um, you can't just buy that plastic bit where what attaches to the bulb where you put you know fix the hold, what holds the bulb in and you can't just buy them bits and it was, for some reason they're plastic you know cheap plastic ones so and my dad, I said to my dad about it, and he, they, my dad and mum are in the process, they've just literally had a new kitchen and had their dining room, like, tiled and the wall re-plastered and the ceiling re-plastered and it is looking really nice, you know, they've just got to, like, decorate now. But yeah, um, so they uh, excuse the sound of the cat again. She likes to do this every time I'm recording talky talky time. Every single time. I don't know, I think she just like she's like, oh, mum's recording her talky talky time. So, yeah, it's time for her to go and make a noise in the litter tray. So, yeah, that is. My wonderful kitty cat, you know. So, yeah, I've got that spare room sorted out now, which I'm really pleased with. So I just need to figure out what to do with... To be honest, the room could do with a de be decorated. Because I've never, ever decorated that room. You know, I've been in the spare room, it's not important, is it? But it could be done with like a whole fresh coat of paint in it. That's one thing it could do with, you know. Whole uh, fresh coat of paint in there. Make it look really fresh. You know, it could do with that. So I might on my week off in January quickly go over that room. 
It was like, this room has a... Oh, when did we do this room? Two years. It's two years. Jesus. So this room was done about two years ago then. I didn't realise it was that long ago. It doesn't seem like that long ago, does it? Um, and we did the bedroom last year. No, two year before. Two years. Yeah. Kitchen was last year, weren't it? Yeah, I did the kitchen last year. Um, and my dad, again, bless him, he helped me tile the kitchen because there was no tiles going across the back wall, you know, where the, the counters are and all that. And you guys know what it's like. You're cooking and, like, food splatters on the wall and oil grease marks and everything else. You can scrub and scrub, scrub paint as much as you want, but it never looks clean. You know, so um, we did put up tiles and everything. That And we didn't spend a lot because, obviously, we rent. So we didn't want to spend, like, a fortune on Decorate. Our landlord does let us do what we want, though. You know, but I just didn't... Obviously, I can't justify spending a lot of money on something that's not mine. But obviously, we live here, so... But, yeah, so we um got that done. The tiles. My dad came over when I wanted... There she goes again. So, um, we just got some cheap tiles, you know, from our local DIY shop. And, um, not local anymore because we moved to the other side of town, which is a pain in the bum. But, yeah, um, we, um, Fiskers. I swear she does it on purpose. But, yeah, um, we tiled, I got my dad to show me how to tile and everything, and so he helped me with that, which I was grateful for. So it just looks nice, son. And then obviously yesterday, I said to him about my light in the spare room, and I have got a couple of light fixtures. But then when he was looking at it, he did say they were going to be a bit of a pain to put up here. So he said he could do it and everything. They'd just be a bit of a pain. So I quickly ran back to his and grabbed a spare thing hanging down thing you guys know what i mean so yeah i grabbed one of them and um so i'm going to i have got fiskers i have got a i'm pretty sure i've got a lampshade that i put to one side because i want to decorate it yeah spoiler alert I've got so many ideas, you know, I just, we only do one idea a week, so obviously I've got the other thing like this to do and everything. I um, don't really get a chance to get around them all. But I will be doing a lampshade. And, not lampshade, light shade. Which I'm looking forward to. And then, um, I could put a light, like a light, light shader back up there again, which will be nice. But yeah, I am glad that spare room sorted now. It took us a good few hours and everything, but I'm glad it's done. Because it's something to be bugging me for age because it was just a mess. A major mess. I don't know about anybody else, like, you have a spare bedroom, it always becomes the junk room. So, and there's, like, old paperwork we need to sit there and shred and stuff like that, so. We just, so, yeah, we've got to sit there and do that one day. I do have a strimmer and every, a strimmer, paper shredder. It just takes time to sit there and do all that, don't it? So, yeah, I am looking forward to... I am looking forward to... to but yeah, so that spare room's done now. So it's looking a lot better. A lot, lot tidier. That 
is number seven. Oh, done. What color is that? Run away for all that. Right. All my little baggies. those two last little bits and then I can make it up I really do like this red I think it is really effective yeah so the other Christmas tree I got in this um, when I did that fan sales order um, I gave to my mum and she was really pleased with it. So that's what she's working on now is that she's really enjoying doing like the other little projects and everything, you know. She's really enjoying doing like all the diamond diamond craft ones, diamond, diamond painting craft projects at the moment too. So... And I am working on um, my custom of my grandparents as well in between. And it's nearly December, so this girl needs to get cracking. But I did find some, well, sorted out. I did buy, buy, buy more frames that I'd bought. So I've got more frames there that I could, um, so I don't have to go out and buy a frame. Because some of them are brand new, I tell you. Which is good, so I can use all them, you know, up. Now, of course, so many diamond paintings, I need to sit and frame and do this and do that. Um, you don't always have the frames, you know. It, the frames are expensive. That's why I tend to try and um. I actually haven't been to a car boot sale in the last, I think, two years now because of you know everything that's happened. Um. You know, we've, we've played it safe, to be honest. But we did see uh, a picture once of somebody posted from the car boot sale. And we thought, why is there so many people? You know, it's, it's just crazy to us. So we were like, yeah, that's yeah, not for us at the moment. We'd much rather play it safe. So, yeah, we'll start going again, like... next year or something but there is that new variant around again another new variant which is scary how this one thing it's just getting more and more variants it's a bit worrying really Wonky, I have to sort that out in a second. Oh, here comes the cat. Hello, Biscuits. Come on then. Hello. She wants cuddles. So she's come up. And she sits right underneath my arm. And then she might hear her um, purring a little bit. So I've got one hand on her. So yeah, this is gonna be gets a bit awkward when she um wants cuddles, but cuddle time. She loves her cuddles, so yeah, that's straight now. Oh, you look wonky still. <laughs> There we go. 
So that's that bit done. And then I do have to put it all back together. So we have these bits. How much we do these in the old spare room? So if I zoom out a bit, oh, let's zoom in. There we go. So we have the bit that hangs down super shiny super sparkly and we have a cat hair only because it's actually really obvious is why i'm taking it off and then just put them bits away before i lose it okay, let me move all my drills right we get a whole heck of a lot of drills so we can't say we do not get enough spare like extra for this. And then that's the base. It's thicker than the rest because obviously it's the base. So that's the base. And then we have the actual Christmas tree itself. Obviously I can't fit the whole thing in at once. But yeah, really, really pretty. So what I'll do is, I'm going to attach this bit first. So it doesn't need to be that long. Do it completely tight. I just realised I missed a couple of fives on this. I need to do that a bit tighter. That in theory should be good. doesn't touch the bottom yeah so that's what the um the base is a bit loose so obviously that's why they've given the old strip of double-sided just a case of trying to And when you have no nails like me, because I am a biter, disgusting habit I know.
do beads do that and then I'm peel it and then this bit here I want to fold back over like so and then that goes in the owl. There we go. Oh, this is going to be a little bit more snug than that. It might be a ticket if I actually put it in the actual hole and not above this side. There we go. But now it's really snug and it does stand nicely now. It's not wobbly at all. And, uh, and we're all made up. Also, I'll show you a better picture when I go into the other room. So, me Christmas tree is done. What do you guys think? I really do like it. I think it's come out so nice. I really do. It's so shiny and everything else. And just what we love with projects, really. And you do get loads of spares. Like, I think they sent me like six or eight of these ones we only need the one and what else like yeah so you get plenty like um they sent two bags for example the green i use basically almost a whole green whole bag of the green just for the first christmas tree and then literally the second bag was just literally for a little tiny bit here and the bottom uh, so you do get plenty of spares for those of you like me who love your spares you do get loads so you haven't got to worry about running out or anything they they send loads extra so yeah and if you want to play up play with it a little bit like maybe swap a couple of colors around or so i'm pretty sure you'll be able to do it in the amount of spares you get because you do get loads really think the little um owls are really cute as well and everything and once you wrap that double-sided tape on the bottom That's not going anywhere, honestly, unless you pull out it, you know. But yeah, that's really sturdy once you've put that double-sided tape in. So yeah, that little bit of strip of double-sided tape you get in there, once you put that on, it, it is really stuck there properly. So yeah, really, really good, and it stands really nice. Like, oh, you might not be able to see that. But, uh... Yeah, so yeah, stands really nice and everything. And obviously this isn't quite flat. So pretty sure this is the um oops, I just threw it off. Obviously, I still still need I do still need to seal it and everything. So yeah, but still absolutely love how it's come out and everything, you know, really shiny, super, super shiny and everything. When I seal it, I'm going to make sure literally uh, what I use to seal is literally around the drills and the rest of it I'm going to wipe off clean and it doesn't stay on the drills. So we get that extra sparkle and everything. But yeah, absolutely love how it's turned out. I think it's really pretty. Really, really pretty. It sparkles amazing and everything. And also, as you can see, I have moved from being facing that way to being facing this way I need so yeah so that is it for this video and let me know what you think of my background I shall move for you guys so you can see so yeah I need to put that drawer back in but yeah 
a lot more tidier and everything you'll start to get a bit of vile disorganized chaos basically so you need to put something on the background and everything yeah i am still wearing my pj bottoms because it's what's the time about half six in the no but i think it's about half seven in the morning now so yeah i do still need to like do a few bits and pieces and everything do something on the back wall and everything so yeah but i'm pleased with how it's coming along and everything it's looking better a lot better than what it was it was looking really untidy and everything so yeah i am really pleased with it so that is it for this week's review item um obviously you know unless you've you're not fussed about when you do them fan sales do still obviously do do these a lot cheaper than other places if you're in a rush they do sell them on amazon for about 15 pound i think i've seen them obviously for you guys in like america australia other places like that i don't know i don't think i don't think they have fan amazon in australia i might just be stupid someone let me know i've got a few i've got a few of you um lovely what aussies here so yeah let me know down below in the comments um if you do have an amazon or i'm just talking out my behind so yeah so that's, that is it for this video thank you ever so much for watching please don't give, forget to give me a big thumbs up if you like this video comment down below of what you think of this i think i love it i think it's really really nice and also if you haven't already please subscribe i really appreciate it thank you ever so much for watching i'll see you next time bye everyone